Hello YouTube. Um, for um, viewers who used to watch me a couple of years or so ago may have wondered where I've been in the meantime. Some of you may remember that I was a carer, or as you say in the USA, a caregiver, uh, for my wife who was very, very disabled. Um, unfortunately, in February this year, 2017, um, she contracted double pneumonia and on top of her COPD um, and asthma uh, she unfortunately passed away um, I was at her bedside and held her hand through it it's not been easy we were soulmates incredibly close deeply in love and a wonderful 18 years together The reason I'm making this video is more to help myself, I guess, I don't know. Um, because since she's gone, obviously uh, everything has changed in my life. Um, everything. And trying to find ways to cope with such a tragic loss is not easy um, I talk to a lot of people I've got a lot of friends fortunately online and off and I've got a great support network without whom I wouldn't be here today excuse the nose scratching always comes at the wrong time doesn't it yeah so I've got a lot of good friends who have been there online and off talking me and helping me through this difficult time sometimes just sitting with me it, the, so much love I've had from people is amazing uh, and so gratefully received kind of restored my faith in human nature to a degree. Uh, itchy snitch. So, um, yes, yeah, so for coping with this, um, I've used coping strategies from my PTSD and things like that, but it's different. Grief is different from depression. It's a very different thing. It feels different. But some of the coping strategies help to some degree. I found also talking about it helps, which I've done plenty of. Also creativity has helped me. I've written a poem for the first time ever, um, which I won't be able to read because I was in tears writing it. And I don't think I can even read it back, let alone to say it, you know. Um, and I thought, well... Maybe a bit of YouTube creativity might help me um, in some way. I don't know. I mean, I've got a few idi idiots. I've got a few idiots. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, I've got a few ideas of um, videos to make. At this stage, mostly surrounding what I've been through. Um, it's not that I need sympathy or anything like that, or even help. I mean, I can look after myself while well. I was looking after my wife for a long time. Um, so I can do all of that kind of stuff. Definitely don't need sympathy. I, I guess I just what I really need is just people to understand what it feels like to lose your soulmate. And for those of you who have been through this or going through this, to know that you're certainly not alone in it. I don't think there's any right or wrong way to deal with this or, or, or anything and I mean I had ideas of what bereavement would be like I knew it would be bad I mean I lost my dad 14 years ago and that was incredibly difficult um, we were close so the loss of him was a very big thing in my life it was life-changing and part of why I decided to look after my wife with her disabilities gave up my business and and did it because I wanted to make the quality of her life as good as I could but losing my wife compared to losing my dad I mean if I said it was a hundred times worse that's probably an understatement there is nothing in comparison the nearest I can get to describe it who's no 
the nearest I can get to describing this to somebody who hasn't experienced it and just hope you never do but if you haven't experienced the best way to understand it is if you've been in love the pain equals the love you felt is the exact polar opposite my wife I loved so much and the pain is phenomenal but I need to keep moving on and forward I promised her I would I am and I will continue some days are better than others some days it's non-stop non tears other days it's okay I mean there are times I can laugh um, there's times where I felt joy but those moments when you're alone when you're thinking <coughs> laying in bed that's the hardest the silly little things you see where you just see something that reminds you I mean I've got plenty of things like that I find keep finding little love notes she left me bits of poetry wrote, she wrote about how much she loved me it's um, been very difficult but um, I just want people to know that I don't know what I want people to know I just know that I guess I want people just to understand how I feel don't need them to fix it, there is no fix don't know if I want fixing to be honest it's not something you ever get over I don't think and speaking to other people who have been through the same or similar you just don't get over it but if you did get over it it means you wouldn't love them I think the best you can hope for is to cope with it I know with my dad uh, I learned to cope with losing him in time that doesn't mean I don't cry for the loss still or that I don't get upset but I kind of try and tend to focus it on anniversaries of things it kind of brings it into focus I guess the rest of the time you learn ways to kind of distract yourself and block things out when you can't it's incredibly difficult I mean today for example I can say this I will I've been struggling remembering back to the afternoon when my wife passed away the last words we said to each other holding her hand soothing her through her death <coughs> I'm glad I was there yeah, I can't imagine how it, what it would be like not to have been able to be there with her Yep. Um, yeah, usually I try and end a video with something positive, but that's not going to happen today. <laughs> Just know I am alright, and I will go on, and we'll do more things, and hopefully a little less teary than today, but yeah, I do expect the odd video from me. Um, anyway, much love to you all. Bye for now.